Recreating the building geometry of a project might take hours or even days. Today I'm going to show you how you can save all this time automating your workflow using artificial intelligence tools. Let's go and have a look at them. Before starting, let me introduce myself. I'm Professor Rino and I'm based here in New Zealand and I have over 10 years experience in research in uh, stuff related with file protection engineering. And today I'm going to show you new AI tool that can support your workflow. FDS is one of the most popular tool in file protection engineering to simulate fire and smoke propagation inside a building. It was developed by NIST. They even have nice mugs. Just kidding. I've been at NIST several times and it's a really beautiful place where you can do research. FDS can be used in many versatile way, probably even to design the pizza oven for your next home. I don't know if anyone has ever done it, but probably it's still possible. And he has his own way to input data using a code. What we do in FDS is to discretize the space in cubes. So it's basically a Minecraft for grown up like me. And after you do it, you can, of course, simulate the fire spread and the smoke spread in this environment, just using computational fluid dynamics, something that is really advanced. And there are full course explaining the principle that you must know before doing any advanced stuff in CFD. So go and look at the documentation. Today, we are going to use another software that is really powerful. It's called Pyrosim. Pyrosim has been developed by a commercial company, Underhead Engineering. They are not sponsoring this video, but I'm really grateful to them because they offer me the possibility to use a free license for this demonstration and for my research. To automate our workflow, of course, we are going to use a BIM. BIM can be defined as a smart 3D model of a building with a lot of information, not just about the geometry of the building, but many other information. Today we are going to use EFC files that are the open file that we can use in uh, BIM uh, workflow. Those files are just a set of uh, multiple lines of code that describe the full buildings and all components and their properties. The good news about FDS is that it's a free software. You can uh, just go to the NIST website, download it, install it on your computer and you can use it for free. There is a nice documentation on the NIST uh, website or there is even a GitHub page where you can learn everything about FDS and you can even ask questions about problems that you're facing while developing this code. Pyrosim instead is a really powerful tool because it provides a user interface but it comes with a cost. So check their website of Thunderhead Engineering to know more about their pricing. The other good news, EFC completely free, it's an uh, open uh, uh, format developed for BIM uh, projects, so you can use it without any troubles. Without spending more time talking about all those tools, let's go and have a look how we can automate our process. So today we are going to use uh, this PDF here. I found it uh, on the internet and uh, using this uh, floor plan of the apartment, we are going to convert it in a EFC file and then import it in Piracy. So let's go and have a look at it. To convert the PDF into a EFC file, so a BIM file, I'm going to use this tool. It's called Amplify. It's a really powerful tool that can convert any kind of PDF plan in a EFC or BIM format. So it's uh, in different language. You can see here is English and French. I'm going to go here and click and open my plan. So you can see here that he has detected multiple plan. I'm going to just import the first one. And you can see here that we have the PDF view inside our screen. He has also detected that uh, the scale of this project is one out of 100. I'm going to agree with the condition. Don't forget to read the full condition and start generating my EFC WOW file. You can see that is already there. We can go and have a look at the details. Really beautiful visualization tool of this building. It looks complete to me. Yes, he has put all the windows, all the doors. So in some cases, has, has even added some piece of furniture, probably with not exactly the same dimension. So you can then complement it 
later on adding more feature that you need for your project. I'm really pleased with these results and I'm gonna download it in the EFC format. We just went through half of the process, so while waiting for the final part of this video, hope you don't mind to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It's gonna help us a lot to develop new content to automate your workflow. Thank you so much. Let's go back to the workflow. We are here now in Pyrosim, which is a really beautiful user interface for uh, FDS. So let's go and open the file. So I'm gonna go in file, import FDS CAD file, and I'm gonna select the EFC file that I just created. You can see here that he has already spot the dimension. I'm not gonna read the instruction at this stage, but please do it yourself. Let's go and see what we get imported inside. You can see that we have already the geometry imported in Pyrosim. Let's go and have a look inside. I'm going to just select the roof and uh, right click on it and hide from the geometry. You can see that the building is representing a really cool way. I'm really pleased with it. So what I'm going to do next is to add the mesh. I'm going to double click here on meshes and generate a new mesh that can integrate the full geometry. Wow, it's already all done automatically by Pyrosim. It has been introducing a symmetric cell. You can see that the dimensions are equal in all directions. It has been basically using cell of 20 cm by 20 by 20. If you want to have a higher resolution, you can change this setup here. I'm going to just press OK. And you can see that the geometry and the mesh is there. What I'm going to try to do now is just to run the simulation without any fire and try and see how it looks like in FPS. So you can see that it's spotting uh, issues like our uh, mesh is not open, so we can later have a look at it and it's telling me that the simulation is gonna run for 0.001 seconds so in this case we need to change it as well if we want to have a real simulation and you can see FPS is up and running and of course it's not gonna simulate anything because we don't have uh, the requirement here for simulating any fire so this is the visualization within uh, Pyrosim which is representing basically what we have seen before. What I'm gonna do now is to open the smoke view file where we can go and see the geometry represented in the FPS domain. You can see that we are in smoke view here and there we are. Wow, the geometry is perfect for our simulation. So you can see that now we can pass to the next stage and uh, just for instance, add uh, something burning inside and See how it goes. The other good things here is that we can also modify the geometry or modify the feature of the building. For instance, I can go here and open these two windows. I can open this door. I can put a burner right here and see how it looks like once we run the full simulation. I spent some minutes here to modify this file. I've uh, put another piece of geometry with a vent here which is my burner. You can see the vent here. And I spend a bit of time to define uh, the surface property of this uh, vent. You can see here that I have a burner. If you go inside and double click on it, you will see all the property. I put a uh, increase of uh, earth release rate, which is exponential. And uh, you can see here all the equivalent FDS code right in the interface. Instead, I've done also some uh, information. Instead, I've also added some uh, information about the fire property here. I select a polyurethane material burning. And uh, once you add all this feature, I suggest you to go to analyze simulation parameters. And here you can put the time of simulation that you want. Be careful because it might take even days if your uh, mesh is really, really big. Let's go and have a look at the results. So this is how the user interface looks like. And here I'm visualizing now the smoke and the fire. 
So you can see that both these items are selected and you can see that in real time it's showing the smoke propagation within the environment. Let's go and have a look around if the smoke is getting out of the building through the windows. It is. You can see here that it's already impossible to have a look inside because we have way too much smoke and you can see that the work is pretty cool and working pretty well. What I will have done probably is some small modification here to get the simulation even better but I'm really pleased with these results so well done to me. And that's it from today. I really hope that you enjoy this uh, video and I hope you can still support our channel by subscribing, ringing the bell and uh, do, you know all the drills. And uh, I'll be back with a new exciting video. If you have any suggestion for new content, don't forget to tell us in the comments below. Thank you so much and see you to the next video. Pyrocene.